modes of reproduction in animals. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! The beginning of a new life is truly a remarkable event. The sight of a butterfly emerging from its pupa, a chick making its way out of the cracked shell, or a dog give birth to puppies. The ability of an organism to produce a new life is one of the characteristics that distinguishes living things. This ability is called reproduction. Reproduction is integral for the survival of all animals. They need to produce offspring of their own kind to ensure continuity of their species. Without the process of reproduction, the life of any animal would come to an end. How do animals such as butterflies, frogs, mosquitoes, dogs, cats grow in number? Animals grow in number through the process called reproduction. Reproduction is the biological process by which an organism reproduce another individual or offspring that is biologically similar to the organism. All of these animals, the butterflies, frogs, mosquitoes, dogs, and cats reproduce sexually. Sexual reproduction takes place when sex cells from two parent animals, one male and one female, unite to form a new animal through fertilization. The fertilized egg is called a zygote. Examples of animals that undergo sexual reproduction are butterflies, frogs, mosquitoes, dogs, and cats. Though all of them reproduce sexually, they have different modes of reproduction. The following are their modes of reproduction. Butterflies. The mating begins when the male butterfly detects a female butterfly releasing pheromones at close range. When the female accepts the male, the male attaches to the female's abdomen, injecting a sperm packet into her stomach that she stores until she decides to lay eggs. They may go on a courtship flight during mating that can last for an hour or more. As the eggs pass down the female butterfly's egg-laying tube, the sperm fertilizes them. Although male butterflies can mate more than once, female butterflies only mate once throughout their lives. About four days, a female butterfly lays from 100 to 300 eggs during her life. The eggs hatch about four days after they are laid. When larvae first hatch, they are less than one centimeter and grow to be about five centimeters. Frogs. All frogs reproduce sexually. The fertilization in frogs happens outside the female's body. The female releases her eggs and the male releases his sperms at the same time. The male and female get into a mating posture called amplexus in which the male climbs onto the female's back and clasps his forelegs around her middle to make sure that the sperms reach the eggs. They can stay in amplexus for hours or even days as the female releases as few as one or as many as several hundred eggs. Usually, about 6 to 21 days, average, after being fertilized, the egg will hatch. Most eggs are found in calm or static waters, to prevent getting too rumbled about in infancy. Some frogs, like the coast foam nest tree frog, actually mate in tree branches overlooking static bonds and streams. The gestation period is approximately 33 days, for frogs gave birth 33 days after they were found in amplexus. Mosquitoes. Reproduction by mosquitoes begins with courtship. During mating, the male deposits sperm into the female through a small pouch in her abdomen. The female sucks the blood used to feed the fertilized egg. After mating and sucking down some blood, the female will rest for a few days to lay eggs in water, swamps, or anywhere with sufficient moisture. Male mosquitoes only live for about a week and have no purpose after mating with a female, so mosquitoes only mate once. 
The female mosquito only requires the sex cells of one male for the rest of her life to produce a few batches of eggs. The entire life cycle, from an egg to an adult, takes approximately 8 to 10 days. Pupae develop into adult flying mosquitoes in 2 to 3 days. Female mosquitoes lay eggs inside containers holding water. Eggs are ready to hatch from a few days to several months after being laid. Dogs. Dogs experience heat cycle which lasts for three weeks. It is the period when they ovulate and can get pregnant which is common every 5 to 12 months. During the first week are the proestrous cycle, females vulva, outer part of their reproductive organ, swells and secretes blood and aromas that attract males. They act moody during this stage to both people and other dogs, swinging from affectionate to snappy, and seem to like to tease the males cruelly. They'll lift their tail to allow a sniff, but will bite the male's head off if he tries to mount. In the second week or the estrus cycle, her vulva will still be swollen, but her vaginal discharge will usually stop having visible blood in it, she will ovulate, and is very ready for reproduction. Lastly, in week 3 or the diestrous cycle or the last stage of being in heat, the female has already ovulated and is losing interest in reproduction. The length of pregnancy in dogs is 61 to 65 days, average 63 days. This means that about 63 days after a dog is impregnated, it will have its litter. Cats. Cats can go into heat at any time of year, just like dogs. They stay in heat about 5 to 15 days but unlike dogs, cats will keep going back into heat every 1 to 3 weeks until they ovulate and are unlikely to ovulate until there is contact with a male cat. This means that they do not ovulate, pass an egg, unless they are bred. Reproduction begins through the estrus cycle when they reach puberty. They are likely to ovulate until there is contact with a male animal. When in heat they make more noise or meows louder and more frequent. They become much more affectionate toward people, weaves in and out of their legs, rubs against them, shakes her pelvis, and rolls about on the floor, and flags her tail. A cat pregnancy lasts about 63 to 65 days. So, a cat can have kittens when they are young as 4 months or 6 months old. True or false? A zygote is formed through fertilization. A new human individual develops from a cell called gamete. Reproduction is to reproduce, or produce new organisms of the same type. Sexual reproduction is making a copy of the organism with a single parent. Reproductive system is the collection of internal and external sex organs in both males and females. Identify what animal is being described in each riddle. I lay eggs in water. I like to hop around. I have a long tongue but I'm not a giraffe. What am I?
I start as a caterpillar. I go through metamorphosis. I feed on nectars but I'm not a bee. I'm colorful but I'm not a rainbow. What am I? I bite and suck people's blood. I am an insect but I'm not a spider. I spread disease but I'm not a sneeze. I lay eggs in stagnant water during the breeding cycle. What am I? I have legs and tails. I am your best friend. I use my nose to sniff food. I get pregnant when the heat cycle period occurs. What am I? I have four legs. I eat fish if you feed me. I have just one, but with eight to spare. I ovulate every one to three weeks with contact stage. What am I? Tell what animal is being described with its reproduction mode. The female releases her eggs and the male releases his sperms at the same time in a mating posture called amplexus. The male deposits sperm into the female through a small pouch in her abdomen. The mating begins when the male animal detects a female animal releasing pheromone at a close range. The estrus cycle is present when the female animal gets into heat at any time of the year and is likely to ovulate until there is contact with a male animal. The female animal experiences a heat period which lasts for three weeks. I learned that animals grow in number through the process called blank. Blank is the biological process by which an organism reproduces an offspring who is biologically similar to the organism. All of these animals, the butterflies, frogs, mosquitoes, dogs and cats reproduce blank. The blank takes place when sex cells from two parent, one male and one female, unite to form a new animal through blank. The fertilized egg is called blank. Examples of animals that undergo sexual reproduction are butterflies, frogs, mosquitoes, dogs, and cats. Though all of them reproduce sexually, they have different modes of reproduction.
What type of reproduction requires male and female sex cells to unite? Internal fertilization. Sexual reproduction. Which is not true about sexual reproduction in animals. It has only one parent. It promote differences. Which of the following is true about the heat cycle in cats? Cats in heat are quiet and like to lay down. Cats in heat make more noise, louder and more frequent. Which of the following does not mate? Blizzard. Starfish. What do you call the process formed after the union of a sperm cell and egg cell? Fertilization. Reproduction. What will happen if animals will not reproduce? Population will decrease. Organisms will not survive. How many times do female butterflies mate throughout their lives? Once. Thrice. Animals reproduce sexually to blank. Make new animals. Get food from its young. Frogs get into mating posture called amplexus in order to blank. Have better hatching of eggs into tadpoles. To make sure that the sperms reach the eggs. Reproduction is important to living organisms because it blank. Collects and removes wastes. Continued the existence of organisms. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to subscribe!